What's up, Gunpla Mullers? This is Strider Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today, I'm going to build this guy. The 144 scale high grade Gundam Live Lens Heaven from the Gundam Breaker Battlelog Anime OVA series. I had so much fun building uh, that Barbatoris that. I forgot there were other other kits from this line that deserved much more needed attention. And I think the Live Lands Heaven needed that attention more because basically what we're looking at here is the Death Scythe Hell uh, Death Scythe Hell um, from from the Gundam Wing. Yet we have not gotten an official Gundam Hell, uh, Gundam Hell yet, in high grade form. This is kind of like the closest thing we got for now. And yes, we do have the Gundam, um, the Death Scythe already now as a high grade now. So uh, I, I wonder if maybe some of these parts can be applied to the high grade version that just came out. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, but I do think that. Seeing this was was nice to, to see that Gun that Bandai was planning to make something like this unique for everybody to see. Who doesn't like these these fold up wings and and the uh, the massive beam lands? Obviously, when it's closed on, it has its active cloak, and then there's a was it uh, it has a me megasonic cannon in its chest. And I do like the gold trim, white and gold. Yeah. So, as we all know, this is a kit that came out um, during during Bandai's uh, uh, campaign with the Battle Log line, which, of course, originally we all thought we were going to get it in November, in um, late December, because uh, it was coming out. I think coming out in December and in January, but then. Out of nowhere, uh, this uh, they were start selling it at Target, which was like, wait, what? What's going on here? What? Why is it at Target? Why haven't we heard about this? And sure enough, we all got it, and it's like, oh my God, Target has this? You gotta be kidding me! Right now, I think we've all gone through um, every every Target store in the, in the world to get our hands on this, so it's no longer. I don't think. Target has it anymore. Maybe they'll have leftovers uh, for the other kits that um, that were the villain kits. But still, to, to see this uh, at Target was good for everyone. Obviously, you can get it at Barnes and Noble. Uh, actually, recently I just saw the Crins the the Crimson um, uh, Goof Custom at uh, Barnes and Noble. But here. Um, I don't think uh, I don't know if Target has it. I, I will say this though: uh, if you guys want it, let me see here. I think Gundam Planet still has it. I will post the link down below so you guys can grab your hands on it. It's uh, twenty-five bucks, but with my uh, the link, if you can click on it, you'll get a ten percent off coupon if you plan to get it. But it is a very very attractive looking kit. I really really. Am am eager to build this and paint it and get it nicely done for maybe a, a show for next year. Who knows? It's a little too soon, but I'm I'm you know optimistic in a way. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is a really nice kit. I can't wait to work on this. So let's uh, begin opening up and see what we have to work with here. All right. <coughs> Good detail on the on the armored parts for the cloak, the active cloak. Some great detail there. Wow. 
It really went a lot. Ooh, this is a nice shade of... Let's say a, a shade of a lavender purple type thing, but it's very, very light. Oof, very nice. Good detail anywhere. But, uh, in sections. We have yellow. Nice solid white color tone. Some blue parts here. Black color roots. Uh, gray. There are stickers here, but it's meant for being in the shield, which I can't... I'm, I'm looking at it um, based on the images. So I don't know if it's something that has to be put inside something else. We'll, we'll review it later on. And, oh, wow, that's actually really nice, uh, pretty effect parts on the, uh, on the blades. Now, this is, this is gold parts. So, okay. We have some gold parts here. And then we have gray parts here like we just saw a moment ago. And then we have the manual in English. I was originally planning to turn this into Death Scythe Hell colors, but it's such a pretty kit. I, I really do not want to ruin it. Hell, they'll eventually release the Death Scythe Hell uh, down the road, but for now, we're going to work with what we got here. Parts guide. Now, these are leftover parts from the other kit, which was, if I'm not mistaken, the Sazabi. Or the, um, was it the unicorn, I think? Because I think it uses that type of blade type setup. But regardless of the case, two of these are not being used. Uh, I see five parts here not being used. A lot of parts here not being used. Wow. Granted, I think it's because of the, it's because of the original Death Scythe. So, hmm, okay. A few gold parts here. Not required, but this entire A plate is being used up. And then, uh, where's part one? Oh, the one's right here. So we have the assembly of the body. Very simple design and build. Uh, the head unit right there. And the shoulders, very simple parts. So is the arms. Okay. The assembly of the legs. And the assembly of the waist unit. And then putting it on all together. And then here is the beginning of the backpack. Putting on the armored uh, parts. And I do see that extra layer part that goes there that actually has the stickers that goes on it. But I haven't even, I didn't see it when I was looking at those parts. So I don't know if it's something that can be painted on. I'll, I'll, I'll remove it later on in a moment to see. Um, so those are like, for now, the only stickers I see. I know there's more stickers everywhere, um, certain parts of the kit. And I must have missed it. And then continuing with the backpack and then the weaponry, which is only just the, uh, you know, the lance, the, the, the beam lance. And that's it. And then how to, tra how to move around, how to position it, all that stuff. And then let's put this thing together. Here it is, how it looks. 
fully painted and assembled. Okay, color guide. Let me read this here. So, white, obviously. Uh, the part of the body is uh, light violet parts. So we have a mixture of violet and white. The um, other parts of the body is gray, very light gray with a with a hint of violet and purple, yellow, and then the inner frame parts, joints, and so are gold. And the sensor is metallic blue. I think I have gold. I think I do. Hang on one second. Give me a moment. Okay. This is what I have in stock. I have pale gold. This is from uh, from Elaclad. I have enough in there. Which I don't know if this would be gold enough for it or, or not. I don't know. I'll definitely have to paint the uh, parts uh, black to highlight this. I don't know if this is something I can use over black or maybe over chrome but I have this that's a possibility another gold I have is number nine gold this one I've had for a long time however it is dry to the bones so unfortunately goes in the garbage I had this metallic mega color set. This is acrylic. The only thing we have here that could be close to it is brass. Which I don't know if that's actually a good color tone. And I thought I had a yeah, let me, let me use this, this model magazine type thing. Uh, it has to be shakened up a bit, it's not, this hasn't been used. So I have this, I have copper, but that's not it. And then I have Steel, metallic red, metallic orange, which in all due fairness looks red. Mm. I'm going to have to look into getting some gold. For painting, that is. Alright, see, that, that one's actually not bad. This brass color is kind of not bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. All right, so we may use this, but to reiterate, I may have to look into getting gold when I get my Master Grade EX Free Strike Freedom. So we'll put this here for now. The white, um, I have this, of course. I miss white, yellow, yellow here, uh, gray. I'm going to darken that gray up. I'm going to use um, Xeonic Gray here for that. The purple parts. The purple parts. The purple parts. I had it here a moment ago, and I always seem to move it around, and there it is. <clears throat> these are these uh, Vic paints. Which I think should be adequate enough. Actually, let me uh, let me test this out. Let's see how it is. Ooh. That's actually nice. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to be trying out these Vic paints for the first time on this kit. Um, 
it was going to be, you know, standard paint job type thing. Nothing too crazy. Um, in all due fairness, I was thinking of changing up the colors a bit, but I, I like it. I like how it looks, how it shines and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to use what you see here. Oh, and I do have a metallic blue, which I can do for the whatever it is. Could be the sensor, things like that, or the crown jewels, something like that. But other than that, should be fine. This should be a very, very nice, easy kit to build. So, with that being said, let us begin building high-grade Gundam Live Lance Heaven. 